Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Ranking the Albums. Today, we're going to look at the studio discography of a very cool band from Detroit, Michigan. A band that's been around since, uh, well, under another name since the early 60s, but under this name, Rare Earth, since around 1968. They were one of the most notable white bands signed to Motown Records. Uh, they weren't the first but they were definitely the band that sold the most uh, records, most notable, most popular. Okay, had a bunch of hits. Still going strong to this day. I think the, they, they tour a little bit, play some shows and whatnot. They haven't recorded a studio album in quite a while. But uh, they've got 14 studio releases in total. So I'm going to rank them from my least favorite to my favorite. A couple of these I don't have hard copies of, but I do have most of them. So let's get started with their number 14. Tight and Hot from 1982. Tight and Hot. So this was their 12th album overall. This was the album that kind of uh, brought them into the 80s. Unfortunately, coming into the 80s, not so kind on Rare Earth. Uh, this is very a memorable album, filled with unmemorable songs. A couple decent ones. Uh, How's About Some Love kind of rocks. And again, this is a band, we're talking Rare Earth, this is a band that early on uh, were kind of like a psychedelic soul band early on in the late 60s and then be you know incorporated funk and hard rock into their sound R&B soul psychedelia hard rock funk in the late 70s started to incorporate some disco elements into their sound so they've kind of like they do all sorts of things but tight and hot um, not so much king of the mountains kind of atmospheric and funky the rest of the album just unmemorable meh just doesn't really didn't doesn't do much for me okay so easily in my opinion the worst rare earth album coming in at number 13 we're going to go with uh grand slam from 1978 as you can see uh, i've picked up the recent remasters of these the reissues they have the ob strip it's pretty cool packaging like mini lp uh the cds actually look like black vinyl pretty cool right so uh, OB Strip and all on all of them. Uh, so Grand Slam 1978, this is their 11th album. So this is their last album of the 70s. Uh, this is one of their two, I, I call them kind of disco albums, right? Um, My Eyes Only, Save Me, Save Me. I heard it through the grapevine. Uh, is it, it, they do it, they've do. they always done lots of covers, this band. Lots of covers. Uh, I think if you look at like their entire discography, I think they've maybe only written... 40% of their own songs. The rest is all covers or songs written by producers they worked with. They did that quite a bit. But uh, this album, kind of the same. Got some covers, got some originals. Uh, if you ever wanted to hear, I heard it through the grapevine, Gone Disco. You'll hear it on here. <laughs> I will say, you know, if you can tolerate like mid late 70s disco stuff, uh, you know, mixed with some R&B, there are some of the songs are kind of catchy and what have you. But for the most part, this is a uh, pretty forgettable album. Number 12, we're going to go with uh, Band Together from 1978. This is their 10th album. All right. Also, their other disco album. Uh but it's got a couple great songs on it. So Warm Ride is on here. Warm Ride was a pretty big hit for them. Again, it's kind of a disco-y song. Uh, great chorus. Okay, you've got, uh, you know, Pete Rivera. I do want to mention Pete Rivera. So Pete Rivera, uh, otherwise known as uh, Pete Horbel, Horbel Becky, or however he says his name, he is their, has been their longtime drummer and lead vocalist. Uh, a great singer. He changed his name, I guess, to Pete Rivera because it's shorter, easier to say. Uh, great singer. To me, he always sounded like a cross between Don Brewer, the drummer from Grand Funk Railroad, and a little bit of Doug Engel uh, from Iron Butterfly, but a little more soulful than both of them. Fantastic, fantastic singer, and I think most of their better songs, he's on lead vocals and just uh, sounds great. So anyway, Warm Ride has a terrific vocal from him on here, uh, but it's just a really cool kind of funky disco tune. All right, uh, the song You grooves a lot, has lots of horns. Uh, Love Love Do Me Right, kind of more of a rocker on, on this particular album, but it's got some funk on it. Maybe The Magic, Rock and Roll Man's kind of hard rock and boogie. Uh, you know, overall, yeah, a little too much disco going on here, but still retaining some of the funk and, and rock like they always did so well. So not a bad album. Not a bad album. All right, coming in at number 11, uh, another one I don't have a physical copy of, Different World from 1993. It's their 13th album overall, first album in a decade. Little more life than, uh, you know, some of their other stuff, latter period stuff. 
living in a different world lots of groove plenty of guitars uh rivera still singing great on this album in fact his, his voice just held up really really well over the years uh she's trouble kind of rocks living up is a great rocking tune hey pretty baby's kind of catchy uh overall album decent still way too many covers but that's kind of their thing uh but you know they they tended to do a lot of covers that like oh you know another band doing a cover of that particular song right but different world 1993 pretty good album pretty solid album Coming in at number 10, uh, don't have this one either. Uh, this is the last thing they would ever do, A Brand New World from 2008. So this is their 14th album and the last one so far, so you know, it's 12 years ago. Uh, nothing Really Changed kind of mixes uh, funk and hard rock, done really well. The Love You Save, great song. Uh, a fantastic cover of Papa Was a Rolling Stone by The Temptations. They, they had a, a way of doing Temptations covers that just really amped up the funk and the hard rock. Great guitar work on that. Really good. Uh, Give Me Shelter, uh, another really cool song, which sounds like Vintage Rare Earth, you know, from the early 70s. Uh, vastly different lineup here, but the album is decent enough, and if you can get a hold of it, uh, definitely do so. It's pretty cool. So, uh, number nine, Back to Earth, okay, which is uh, this album right here. Sorry, a brand, yeah, Back to Earth, yeah. 1975, also... I got both, obviously. <laughs> I'll show this one. So, uh, Back to Earth, 1975, their seventh album. Here on this album, you've got a guy named uh, Jerry LaCroix, LaCroix uh, replacing Pete Rivera on vocals. Pretty good album. Uh, Keeping Me Out of the Storm is probably the best song on the album. Uh, kind of muscular funk with some great guitar riffing. Uh, lots of groove. Great hook on the song. A little bit of reggae. Okay, a little bit of reggae thrown in, but really cool song. It's kind of long. Uh, it makes you happy, brings the funk. Happy song is all kind of cool, like tribal percussion, very cool, kind of Santana-ish. They always had this kind of like Latin percussion thing going throughout their music. Uh, City, Li City Life rocks a bit. Overall, you know, not a bad album, a little on the bland side. So here's the, uh, here's the guys on the back. Not a bad album, really cool album cover. Um, but like I said, a little bland, but, you know, not terrible by any means. All right, so that was number nine. How about number eight? We're going to go to 1977's Rare Earth. Okay, that's that bad boy right there. So this is their ninth album, a uh, pure funk album with bits of R&B. Okay, not much of a rock album, but funk all over the place. If you love, like, Parliament and Funkadelic type stuff, you've come to the right place. Uh, Tin Can People, very cool song. Is Your Teacher Cool? I like quite a bit. Crazy Love. Um, like I said, most of the rock edge kind of gone by this time, but Pete Rivera back in the band once again. So uh, he was only really gone for like about a year, year and a half, and he's back lending those great vocals, uh, most of the songs on here. So solid record, solid record. Next up, number seven, their debut from 1968, Dreams, Answers. Dreams slash Answers. Okay, so this is very different from the rest of their stuff. So here, it's it's pure psychedelia. It is 1968. Pure psychedelia with some R&B thrown in. Kind of, you know, they're, they're from Detroit, so it kind of makes sense. Um, a lot of songs. Songs are very short, two and three minutes long. Uh, Land of Nod, very cool. King of a Rady Country is cool. Sidewalk Cafe, all right. Plus, you got an early version of Get Ready and a few more covers because uh, early on, especially, they were doing tons of covers. Yeah, some nice guitar work here and there, uh, but a little bit of organ. They, they got that kind of like weird, almost kind of like, um, I call it cheesy, but it's, it's, you know, it's not Hammond organ. Farfasa organ or one of the other ones that they used, uh, kind of the organ sound that like Iron Butterfly had at the time. Not full-blooded like a Hammond, but, uh, you know, very indicative of the late 60s. Uh, all throughout some of this music. But, uh, you know, a cool album nonetheless to kind of see Rare Earth in their infancy. All right, next up, 1976's Midnight Lady, their eighth album. Another album of pure funk and R&B. This is probably their best pure funk album, I think. I dig this one a lot. Uh, Do It Right kicks ass. It's a natural, finger-licking good. Ain't No Sun Since You've Been Gone. Uh, and then the hard rocking Wine, Women, and Song, which closes out the album. It's got it's bit, lots of jams. Some of their stuff, excuse me, when they um, when they get to jam it, they, they sound like Santana a little bit. They have that they have that kind of side to them. You know, they got the kind of Latin percussion and the funky and soulful feel to their music with the hard rock guitars. All right. And the cool organ, uh, just really good stuff. Wine, Women, and Song's got all sorts of uh, stinging guitar riffs and organ solos and just a real good jamming song. Definitely a good album. Love the production on this album. It's just uh, bright and funky and rocking all at the same time. 
Good stuff. All right, next up, we're going to go their second album, 1969's Get Ready. Uh, again, mostly covers, but really good covers. I think these guys did some of the best covers around. So uh, you got uh, In Bed, Rocks Hard with some sizzling lead guitars. Uh, you got a great cranking version of Tobacco Road, which is heavy on guitars. You got Magic Key and Train to Nowhere. Train to Nowhere is a Savoy Brown cover kick-ass psychedelic soul uh you got a pretty fun version of feeling all right by uh, dave mason of course also done in traffic uh the title track get ready is of course a cover of the Smokey robinson classic but here it's 20 plus minutes you know there's there's the single out there that probably a lot of you have heard that was condensed to like four minutes or whatever this is 20 plus minutes of thumping grooves swirling organ sax drum solos and fuzz guitar solos all over the place just a really good late 60s funky hard rock psychedelic soulful treat um like it rocks pretty hard great guitar work on this album and just fantastic vocals fantastic vocals really really good album really strong uh, sophomore release all right next up number four we're gonna go to 1972's willie remembers here's willie on the front kind of neat album cover right and uh this is their fifth album here, the band kind of tried to... Let me just open this up for you. This, like, like I said, is the uh, the reissue, the remaster. Set up like mini LP thing. Got the OB strip here as well. Uh, so Willie remembers uh, their fifth album. Mostly all original songs. Like the band decided we're, we're going to try and write our own songs here. Uh, I couldn't believe what happened last night. Rocks hard. It kind of... Reminds me of like early Grand Funk Railroad. It's got plenty of sax, guitar, bass and drum and keyboard solos. Lots of jamming on this song. Uh, we're going to have a good time. Pure funk. Come With Your Lady mixes hard rock and funk and jazz and builds nicely. It's got a scorching guitar solo and some horns towards the end of the song. Uh, Good Time Sally is energetic boogie rock. Um, you know, pretty heavy for them, actually. I mean, heavy, like fog hat heavy kind of. Um, but a really, really strong, fun album, which I did quite a bit. Like I said, it's my number four on this list. Uh, very, very good. Willie remembers. All right, next up, number three, 1973's Ma. Their sixth album. Probably one of the worst album covers of all time. Not sure what they were thinking here. Pretty grotesque. Yep. I think we all like to think of our mothers as looking a little better than that, right? Uh, here they are in the studio. Okay. Really good album, though. Uh, all the songs were written by their producer, Norman Whitfield. They did that quite a bit early on. Uh, you know, They would either do covers or write a couple of originals or have their producer, whoever they were working with, just kind of write all the songs. Uh, title track, 17 plus minutes of atmospheric funk, jazz, and rock. Lots of long solos. Well, early on, they mixed the kind of, like every album, had one of those kind of longer tracks that where they really stretched out a bit. Uh, here, Ma is the one. Uh, Smiling Faces sometimes is pretty groovy. Blues rock with piano, tasty guitar licks. Uh, Big John is my name. Pure funk. Again, funkadelic, parliament, that sort of thing. Uh, Hum Along and Dance has some cranking guitar riffs. All right, Smoldering Organ, uh, and Ray Manetti, who is a fantastic guitar player, uh, just absolutely blistering lead guitar on this track. Uh, Come With Me, kind of sounds like Santana meets Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac. Stellar song, atmospheric, lots of tasty guitar solos, just a great, great album with a terrible cover. Uh, could rank higher, but the, the two coming after it are just that good. Uh, next up, we've got for my number two... Their fourth album from 1971, One World. Cool album cover. This was a big album for them. So, of course, uh, big song, big album, right? Uh, bands writing more of their own songs. I Just Want to Celebrate is the big hit. I just want to celebrate. Great song. Great riffs. Lots of groove. Excellent song. Perennial hit. Love I Just Want to Celebrate. Uh, what I'd Say, hard rockin' version of a Ray Charles song. We've done really well. Uh, if I Die, atmospheric jazz rock with a great Latin-style percussion and just absolutely soaring lead vocals. Uh, the Seeds, mixing uh, electric and acoustic guitars and piano. Really nice rocker. Uh, Someone to Love, heavy blues rock with uh, some really tasty guitar licks. Nice organ solo, lots of vocal harmonies. Uh, and Road. It has some great fuzz-laden riffs. Uh, again, really, really good guitar work throughout most of these albums. Uh, Under God's Light, also another song with some really, really good fuzzy guitar work. Uh, good mix of rock and kind of R&B and, and uh, funk. One World, really strong album. But, of course, my favorite has got to be their third album from 1970, Ecology. 
Okay, kind of cool psychedelic album cover and back cover. So here you got a mix of covers and songs written by their then producer Tom Baird. All right, but all works really well. Uh, Born to Wander, kind of a minor hit for them. Some kind of cool jazzy flutes and wah wah guitars, lots of groove, great choruses. That killer song uh here it has their very memorable and famous cover of the temptations i know i'm losing you dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. your love is fade 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 <laughs> just grand just amazing guitar licks in the song amazing wah wah guitars crunchy riffs sizzling solos all over the place uh from rod richards he was their early guitar player uh long time leaving kind of sounds like grand funk meets iron butterfly pretty rocking song nice place to visit heavy blues rock with you know just hard driving riffs uh number one man also rocks pretty hard it's got some stinging guitars uh, they do a cover of eleanor rigby which is really different from the beatles version it's very atmospheric and orchestral check it out very different uh and then of course you got their other hit from this album called satisfaction guaranteed which is kind of funky and jazzy great hook lots of groove really really cool song from a great album there you have it ecology so uh Number one, Ecology. Number two, One World. Number three, Ma. Number four, Willie Remembers. Number five, Get Ready. Number six, Midnight Lady. Number seven, Dreams Answers. Number eight, Rare Earth. Number nine, Back to Earth. Number ten, A Brand New World. Number eleven, Different World. Number twelve, Band Together. Number thirteen, Grand Slam. And number fourteen, Tight and Hot. There you have it. Ranking the studio albums of rare earth but before we go i do want to mention uh they have an absolutely killer live album that you need to get uh it's called rare earth in concert from 1971 not only are there some killer live versions of some of their classic tunes but you get a couple songs on here that uh can't really find anywhere else so it's got i just want to celebrate then their cover of Hey Big Brother, which absolutely destroys. I almost wish they would have done a studio version of that. Hey Big Brother. Bum, da, da. Just so much, just amazingly massive grooves to the song. Killer guitar work, great vocals. Uh, you got a great version of Born to Wander. You got Get Ready, lengthy, lots of jamming. Uh, what I'd Say, Thoughts, I Know I'm Losing You, killer version of that. Lots of guitar playing. And then uh, Nice to Be With You, another a new track there. So there you have it. 14 studio albums, one live album. That's what you need for Rare Earth, a great band. Uh, one of those bands that I only knew the hits forever, and I decided to kind of check out their discography a couple years back. Uh, started to get a couple things. I, this is the first thing I got, and I love this. So I've just recently got a lot of these remasters and stuff. Uh, well worth it. So uh, just a great band that just kind of gets you up on your feet. It's like, like I said, some of the stuff really rocks. Some of it's just funky as hell. Uh, you know, the, the disco stuff is kind of what it is but uh you know most of this stuff pretty damn good so check it out visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org we're on facebook we're on twitter of course we're on youtube all the damn time i'll see you guys momentarily with uh, my dvd blu-ray pick of the day take care bye-bye